So, Wesley, today we are talking yes. about Blue Beetle. And yes, we are. So, I have not talked to you at all about this movie since we both have both seen it. So, I'm really curious. What What is your... Uh, what, what, what do you think of the movie? Because I, I know we did record uh, um, First Impressions, but... What, what's your... Uh, I don't know if, you, if they've changed any or not, but what's what's your opinion on the movie as of right now? Well, to be honest, I haven't really thought about the movie much since I've seen it. Um, I was actually thinking about it earlier today. I was like, I kind of need to get those thoughts fresh in my brain before I start recording. Um, but I didn't. So, uh, but anyways, my, my, my thoughts for the movie was, uh, this movie is going to tank and it does not deserve that. Mm. It was a good movie. It was a good time. It was a funny movie. Um, obviously, it was an origin story. So, you know, it had some of those very similar basic plots of an origin story. But I don't think it was done bad. Like, I think it was done really well in the way that they told it. Um, I think Blue, Bear, Blue Beetle was a very cool character. I think the actor they chose to play him, you know, did a really good job in the role. Um, my my idea, my thoughts of the movie was that um, so it it's uh, played out on a Marvel side of things. It's a DC movie, but played out very much like uh, Spider Man, but kind of like in the Iron Spider suit. That's kind of the way that it kind of felt to me. Mm -hmm. Which I don't think I don't think even even though it looks like it's a kind of a copy of that, like it doesn't it didn't it still looked good. Like I still enjoyed the movie. And that that aspect didn't pull me out and be like, oh, this looks like a Spider-Man ripoff. It it just seemed like it was, you know, you could kind of see the parallels. Well, I think too. So, I felt like this movie was, it felt fresh, and it, it was good because I I liked it because it was also self-contained. Because mm -hmm. yes. because you know, uh, for anyone who's been, who's listened to the podcast, that's one of our things we've mentioned about Marvel movies as of late is they're they're, they spend so much time setting up other Marvel projects that the movie itself sacrifices for it. Mm -hmm. Now, with this movie specifically, I, 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 there are some gripes I do have with the movie, and some, some of them might get a little bit more into spoilers-ish, but... Uh, but oh, I think it was a good movie. It was enjoyable. I I think they did an excellent job with building up the side characters. Yes. But like I said, is it, it, there just a couple of things that you know just were, were a little bit I don't know that I, I didn't quite like about it. But all in all, I would I I, I, I said I would like this movie, and I, I would recommend anyone go watch it. The way I felt coming out of the movie theater was this is one of the first movies I've enjoyed. Like, one of the first superhero movies, one of the first superhero movies I've enjoyed watching in a while. And I'm even going to rank that, or that statement comes in even with Guardians 3. Because even in the realm of Guardians 3, I had to go into the movie theater thinking, where are they at right now? You know, this one was, you could go in blind and you still could enjoy the movie. Whereas in a lot of the, in most of the Marvel movies nowadays, you have to have some kind of background. So I did like that aspect, and I think I enjoyed this more for and, that simple aspect. And, and I do think it was a good movie, too. And that goes back to me just telling you, it's, it's a very self-contained movie, which I like. <clears throat> now, that being said, though, I was telling Sarah, Sarah this when we were walking out, um, and I don't, I don't, from what I know, I don't think this is the plan. Um, I don't necessarily know what the plan is with the DCEU or the DCU, whatever they're calling it, when James Gunn takes over. Um, but uh, this would be a very good movie to kickstart their next universe. And it would very much be a copy of, like, you know, Iron Man kicking off the universe. But it was a good movie. It was self-contained. And I feel like if they wanted to, they could branch out from this movie going forward with a fresh universe. I don't think they will because I think they have other plans as how they're going to reboot it. But like Iron Man wasn't a no name character, I don't think, um, it, when when Iron Man came out. But he wasn't like Superman, Spider Man, Batman, like 
with those big hitters. DC's trying way too hard to make good movies with those characters. It's been done too much. They need to bring characters like, like Blue Beetle and other characters that are maybe a little bit more obscure that they can do more with. And I, to, to flesh out their universe as opposed to trying to remake Superman and Batman again. And I would argue that's why Shazam and Suicide Squad did so well. I, mm -hmm. Okay, so like the Shazam 2, I know bombed at the box office. And I know this movie's probably going to bomb at the box office. Mm -hmm. But box office yeah. numbers do not cor correlate to quality of the movie. No. So but it does, I'm, I'm it does signify to the producers what to and not to make, even if fans are like, hey, this actually was yeah. good. They need to look at like they, they need to look at like later reviews. Because I'm pretty sure even though this is bombs, I think right now on um, Rotten Tomato, it has a really good it has a certified fresh score. I think it's pretty high. I haven't looked it up. We could look it up a little bit. But um uh they need to look at stuff like that because that's audience reviews, you know, how the audience takes the movie box office like dc has the look over it of dc makes bad movies so why would i waste my money going to see it in theaters you know so mm -hmm. hopefully they take a look at that as opposed to just the box office because yeah like you said this movie's probably gonna bomb even though it's a good movie and it's worth time people don't trust dc to make a good movie now kind of wrapping up our opening uh state our opening thoughts of, of the movie here um if you had to rank it on a scale scale of uh, one to five, where would you put it? You know, I, I always like to figure out where, like, what a one is and what a five is. But that being said, I'd probably place it about uh, a four because it's not obviously it's not a perfect movie, but it was really good. Uh, as far as DC is concerned, the CGI was really good in this, a lot better than most of their movies. Um, and I think the plot, while you know, somewhat basic and somewhat still, uh, uh, um, you know, traditional origin story. It still did feel a little fresh. And like I said, I enjoyed this one. Probably, it's probably one of the few superhero movies I've enjoyed in a while. Yeah, and actually four was the number I had in my mind too for this movie. <clears throat> so... Well, this is weird. Yeah. We're, we're a little bit too much on the same wavelength here. We need to get off, disconnect. Yeah. Um. Just the Bluetooth. Yeah. Four was the number I had. I had in my my mind for this too. Uh. But yeah. Like I said. Oh no. I think I felt like it was a, a pretty good movie. Um. Because like I said, it's it's just fresh. Like it's it's, it's fresh. It's new. Mm -hmm.